Hello everyone, my name is Jason Freund. And I'm JC Garcia. Your Sultan alumni is here with today's Flashback Friday. Alright, AP testing is coming up May 7th through May 18th, so you might want to get studying so you can pass those. And also, it's that time of year to design a t-shirt for the PTSA. Designs must be in black ink on 8.5 by 11 inch white paper. Artist's name, grade, email, and phone number must be printed on the back. You must have those submissions in by April 27th. You can send those to Santana PTSA. Here we have an interview with Miss Tester to buy back Chromebooks for $20. Let's check it out. Hello, Solons. I am Chase Mishka here with Miss Teschler, who is very, very purpled out today. Yes. As opposed to me being all black. Um, okay, so I've been receiving 50,000 emails. I wish I was joking about that. About um, Chromebook sales. What is that about? So this is strictly for the seniors, and they have an opportunity to purchase their Chromebook. It is a $20 deal, and it is until the 4th. So we need to know, seniors, if you're going to be purchasing, and this is the Chromebook and the cord, so it's everything together, it's a package deal, 20 bucks. How can you pass that up? But we need this done uh, by the 4th because we're wrapping things up, you know. So those of you who choose not to do that, your Chromebooks will be returned when you return your textbooks. So you have two choices. You either purchase the sucker or you turn the sucker in one of the two so if you decide not to turn it in and you haven't purchased it guess who is going to come knocking on your door me yours truly i'm going to be going excuse me you haven't purchased it you haven't turned it in so and remember all fines everything needs to be cleared by graduation day so no cap and gown no diploma no nothing so and if you don't turn it in and you don't purchase it you have a hefty whatever it is to to, to replace the Chromebook you don't get it for $20 you have now you have to replace the Chromebook the actual, ooh. so you're That's not, a so lot. you need to make a decision okay either you purchase it or you're going to turn it in if you don't turn it in you will get a hefty fine of like I think they're like a hundred and 90 whatever it is so i know it's like not brain surgery right you got to figure it out you either turn it in or you purchase it easy peasy yeah and to purchase it you go to miss odenkirk in finance 20 dollar bill or a combination you know making 20 dollars. it must be cash no personal checks and uh that's about it and we will You're see welcome. you guys back at the studio take care that's actually not a bad price jc i know what a steal thanks for that interview by the way don't forget to buy your book before May 31st just for $95, either on the store web or in the finance office. In June, the price will go up to $100. Your yearbook will be filled with many pictures from the past year, from homecoming to ASB carnival, science class, and track and field, plus many more. The YMCA is now training and hiring lifeguards now for only and for only $36, you can get fully certified and start working at your local YMCA, which is right just down the road. Here we got the interview with the one and only Mr. Riley himself about Battle of the Classes. Let's roll that clip. Everybody and welcome to KSVL News. I'm Parker Bartain talking to Mr. Riley about Command X, a uh, fundraiser? What, what is it exactly? Yeah, so this is a fundraising campaign for the Senior Class Council. I uh, figured that it would be a good way to offer up my beard as a sacrificial lamb to the uh, cause, raise some funds, and, uh, and get a fresh cut out of it. So... So why are you letting people do this? You know, that's a good question. <laughs> I really don't know why um, I, I, I'm going along with this. It's, uh, why not? Why not? Sure, there you go. Yeah. And uh, are you going to miss it, slash, are you scared you're going to get cut? <laughs> Well, the last time I was clean shaven was uh, 2013. Wow. And... I'm a little apprehensive about it, but the beautiful thing about a beard is that eventually it will grow back. So, um, so such is life. It can go for now, and it, hopefully it'll be back soon. Do you get trims then, or is this literally just grown out since yeah, it doesn't? Yeah. yeah, it's uh, just like having any hair on your head. you got to trim it and shampoo it and everything else. So, <laughs> um, so this time it'll be a little bit shorter trim than I'm used to, yep. but uh, <laughs> such is life. Awesome. Well, this was Park Retain with KSU News. See you back in the studio. 
I think it's com I think it's a crime against humanity for Mr. Riley to shave his beard, don't you think? I know, it's from freshman year he had that. Yeah. Thank you for the interview, Park. That's all for this week for KSL News. I'm Jason Freund. And I'm JC Garcia. And, and we'll, we'll see you in the next, next episode. episode. Have a good day, Santana.